Have you been thinking about doing an adult painting by numbers? Then watch this video where I'm going to show you the whole story from start to finish. From getting your kit to doing your painting, right through to seeing mine hanging on the wall. I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So we'll start right at the beginning with your kit. Now I've got a kit from Winnie's Picks and if you want to see the link it's below the video and it's to do this lovely little picture here called Peach Butterfly in the Summer. Now Winnie's Picks send theirs out in a nice sturdy cardboard tube so your canvas comes nice and rolled which is a really good idea. You don't want it folded so that's a good start. So tip the entire tube out and let's see what you get in one of these kits. So the first thing you're going to see slide out are all the little paints and the brushes. So there's a selection of brushes and a selection of paints and they're small paint pots and they're acrylic paints and they're all numbered to match up with the areas on the canvas. So it makes it easy and the selection of brushes are all different sizes. And it's a really good idea to use a fine one for your detail and a wider one for larger areas. You get a much better finish. And there's a decent selection there. I didn't need to use any others. So what else was in there? Well, obviously, there's your canvas. So you're going to have your canvas and it's going to be all printed out with your design and each area numbered so you know what to paint it. So mine is 16 by 20 inches which is a fair size but when you're putting it up on your wall it's not huge and it's called the peach butterfly in summer and it's got a border all the way around so that when you come to mount it you can do and you can see there's a reasonable size of area in there it's a beginner's painting so there are no tiny bits of detail so hopefully i'll be okay there's also a paper picture of the canvas that shows you all the different areas and what numbers they are a small picture showing you what it's going to look like at the end. Again, you can use that for reference. It can be really nice to look and just check you're doing the right thing. It can be quite reassuring as you're working your way through. And then the final bit of paper are some basic instructions from Winnie's Picks telling you what to do. There are also lots of great instructions online, both on YouTube and on other websites, giving you more and more hints and tips. And indeed, on Winnie's Picks, there are some great articles giving you hints and tips. So once you've got your kit, you've taken everything out, it's time to get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a flat surface. Now, I recommend that you have something you can fix your canvas down to. I use the foam board that you can buy in craft shops for a few pounds. Uh, just so that I can have it down flat and work and also I can move it out of the way because I don't have a dedicated art area so it has to get moved when I do something else. So I use a very light masking tape that peels off very easily and doesn't leave a sticky ready residue just to get it down flat. If you work on an easel or however you like to paint that's up to you but what you do need is the flat surface and securing it down. I also have to get mine out of the way of the cat who would like to jump all over it if it was left down flat. So as well as that, you're also going to need a glass with some water in at all times to rinse your brushes and some paper towel to dry your brushes on and to wipe them. Making sure you always wipe along the brush so that you keep them in good order whilst you're working. So then it's time to get started. So you're just going to select the colour you want to start with. My, my top tip would be to start with some lighter colours and work onto the darker ones because it's much easier to go slightly onto your light colours with a dark one and cover it and get a really good edge. And I'm going to start in the top left hand corner because I'm right handed. If you're left handed I'd suggest you start in the top right hand corner. Now I've got a butterfly there, so that seems the obvious place for me to start. So you simply make sure that you're painting inside the area marked with the same number as is on the lid of that paint pot. And take your time. Make sure you go right up to the lines and just slightly over the line because you don't want to leave a gap between one area and another. You want them to meet up and merge together seamlessly. So you want plenty of paint on your brush, but you don't want to overload it. 
so that it, you'll get the hang of it and the more you paint the better feel you will get for it i am not an artist i don't claim to be an artist and yet i can do these so if you've no experience of painting don't be put off i'm starting where i am because it's a nice light color and above it on the top left is a very dark color so that's why i haven't started right in the very corner so you're just going to work steadily with that color working around any bits of detail and just do it your style there is no right and wrong way to do painting by numbers because it's your painting i stick rigorously to the colors that it says i know some people don't and that's entirely up to you but throughout the project you want to take care of your brushes and you want to take care of your paints so as soon as you finish using one paint make sure you get that lid on and make sure you clip it tightly so it doesn't dry out and clean your brushes so now I'm going to show you mine as it progresses and you'll see me working my way through as the whole picture appears. And then all that's left to show you is it hanging on the wall. And that's it. That's all it takes to do your painting by numbers. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you enjoy your painting, please take a look at the video that's on the screen now. And thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos.